uh, hi friends uh, in this video uh, we will see sample numera dashboard creation with Dell option so here we have two data source uh, we will see what it has the data I am just checking with the initial view and we could see the states are there and how much sales is there for each every state I'm just closing this and we have another data source uh, with the city city and sales so we are trying to create one sample uh, dashboard with the basic container with the grid layout so grid layout I'm making it as a full screen and converting to two rows so i want two rows and with the two rows in which what is the height means first row height is one and second row height is nine so first one is i'm making for header so here i'm creating a text component and It's a sales dashboard here also this is also I'm making with the it's occupies the entire home screen I'm not making any CSS style for now so this is a sales dashboard in second uh, cell again I am creating a another container that is also a grid container grid layout and here also I am making full screen uh, with the two columns so if you apply these two columns so again two rows will be there and if you try to add a chart here I'm adding a chart here and this is also fits in first of the grid in first cell is supposed to be fit here so it fits in this Okay, so you can directly copy and paste in the cells because we have applied some of the properties here right uh, so I'm assigning uh, chart 1 to data source 1 and assigning data source to the second chart so this is by state and this is by city sales by state and sales by state uh, so just clicking on this chart and there is a chart configuration is there if you click on that so we will be having many of the options uh, to change the chart type and some of the settings so here I am trying to change the bar chart with this horizontal because lot of uh, states are there so this I am trying to make it the center and you can select this and you can try to change the color of it and you can chart uh, this many options are there labels and all uh, so if you select the plot area and you can change the sum of the background color also chart background color also you can change it and click on ok so now I change to the chart and if I am checking for city this is also I am trying to check the chart configuration here had a lot many uh, cities are there so here also I am trying to fit uh, which is suitable uh, here also I will do uh, this bar chart only horizontal bar chart and I am trying to make this chart as a center aligned and this chart uh, 
plot area again I'm making a uh, uh, sorry chart uh, area in chart area background color is there I'm making this as a some gray color and I'm changing the bars uh, bar color I am making it to some uh, this will get uh, change it some of the colors but it's not showing that much whether it's changing or not it's not getting reflected or else you can do another way like you can check, click on charts and if you right click the choose color option will be there so you can change it whichever uh, combination is there so single sales is there so only uh, one color will get changed first color so we change it this color and if you observe in chart area I change the background color but in previous chart we change it plot area color and chart title is we have center align okay and uh, here also in this chart also I am trying to sync the chart background so what we have done we have done like in plot area we have done background color but uh, in chart area if you make it as a color so entirely it will change the color so just close, click on apply so now background color is changed and this cells by state and state by city is there if you save and try to run this dashboard and now you could state by sales and state by city so we can able to read the data here if you can able to see it if you mouse over or click uh, the sales is there for specific California but here uh, we cannot I mean this is fine for maximum uh, values but here we cannot able to identify so there is a link so in specific state so how many cities are there that we need to get filtered for this how we will make it done is uh, one way is like we can directly create a, some of the uh, prompts uh, it's a basic Probably we will be having drop down component uh, in drop down component we need to assign the members right so assign the members uh, so in application in startup I am just assigning the components to it drop down one dot set items so where it has it as a data source to in data source to uh, so we are get member list function so we are applying as a state right so whatever the city we are selecting so that needs to be displayed uh, so this is internal key and uh, text need to be displayed and maximum is 20 values so i'm setting the items to the drop down okay so once the say items are set to this drop down this should get filtered right so on select event if it's a single value right so in need of writing if condition only it's need to be filtered right so in data source 2 
it should be filtered set filter so dimension what is the dimension it's a state so what is the state drop down whichever value you we have selected so we can write drop down of one dot get selected value so whatever the value we are getting selected in drop down box that is getting filtered as a data source tool so if you click ok and just save and try to run now so all the states are there drop down box so if you select this so only the specific uh, cities will get displayed only the specific cities will get displayed if you select for so these are the sales so if you select the specific uh, drop down box of a state so this is coming so we what we are expecting we are expecting with a drill option that we will see now so i don't want this filter so i want in data source one like in this chart if i'm clicking on the state that's supposed to be filtered in the second chart so how that can be done so we need to select this chart and in in the every chart will be having on select event so on select event just click on on select event here we are getting filtered here now here we need to suppose to filter the second data source so which dimension we are getting filtered we are getting as a state so states are there so states we are getting filtered and what is the value value is whatever the in the chart so get selected member so whichever selected member of state which we are selecting that is getting filtered in the data source too we we'll just apply this and click on save and try to run this see now all the values are there if you click this the specific will get changed and if you click on this so we are selecting for single row if you click this this will get changed and if you just unselect all the all the cities will come and if you check texas so how many things are there and if you click this and go with the some other state so instead of having drop down if you click on the charts bar so this will automatically reflect here so this is the majority of the clients are expecting this drill behavior in lumira uh, i hope you understand this drill behavior thanks for watching this video thank you